Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can import some mock data into our React.js application. Then um, in this case, we're gonna be using like a contact keeper. It's just a contact list form that we're gonna be able to search for contacts. So I'll just give you an example. If we search for Josie, for example, you can see a kind of live filter right in front of our eyes our eyes through here. So I'm gonna show you how we can import this data and then go ahead and, uh, and map through it and filter it in real time. So what I have off to the left here in my code editor, uh, I just have a basic React application. Then I do have just some general uh, bootstrap styles and this is it right here. So this is probably the uh, one and only um, tutorial you'll see with me using bootstrap. I'm just not much of a fan. So don't hold that against me. But here we have just some mock data in here um, and it's just hard coded, just one value in here. So what I like to do uh, whenever I'm building out applications is just add in some mock data so we have something to work with. And in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use a website called Makaroo. Sounds kind of funny, but it's really quite useful. So if we open this up, it just, Makaroo basically just creates um, like a JSON file or, or any type of file really with a bunch of mock data in there for you to use. So in this case, I'm gonna leave in here an ID, uh, first name, last name, an email. Uh, we can get rid of the gender. And then instead of an IP address, let's use like a phone number. So I'm just gonna give this um, the name of phone. Then in here, we can actually search for a, phone just like that and this is really really cool you guys you can set up like uh data for like an e-commerce store to simulate you know like a store really all sorts of data but this is what i'm going to use uh, for this video and i don't need the csv i'm going to use a json file here and uh for the number of rows i think a thousand is really quite excessive so let's just use um Let's just use a uh, hundred here for this video. And really you don't even need to download it. What I'm gonna do is just hit that preview button. Then I'm just gonna copy this whole array here. So it should be about a hundred uh, objects in our array. So I'm just gonna copy that. Now I'll go back to our um, code editor here. So uh, what we wanna do is actually, let's create a new file over here in our source folder. So inside the source folder, I'm gonna create a file and I'm just gonna call it data.js. Now uh, inside here, we can just paste our array. So all I've done is just pasted our array in here with all our, all our objects, but we wanna export this and give it a name. So I'm gonna say export const, then I'm just gonna call this uh, data, just like that. Now I'll go ahead and give that a save and should format all of, uh, all of our data for us. So next let's go into our app.js and what we wanna do is import that. So I'm gonna import it here at the top. I'm gonna say import and we need to put this in curly brackets. I'm gonna say from, the same level, so data.js. Now, if we console log this, we should see all of our data down here in the console. So let's just go ahead and have a look. Console, so yes, there it is, 100 objects in our array with just uh, uh, ID and you can see the name, first name and last name. So that's how easy it is to import mock data into our React.js application. So let's go a step further and let's have this uh, rendered out on the screen here. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and map through our data down here and we're going to just get right here below this T body, right? It's where we're going to enter this. And what I want to say is I'm going to open up some curly brackets. So we can type our JavaScript in here and I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can see a little bit better there. So what I'm going to say is data dot map. And then what we want to do is take in, it's going to take in an arrow function and I'm just going to give this a name. It's going to be the value for this. And I'm going to say, uh, item. And this is going to be an arrow function. And we need to use parentheses and we, we're going to be rendering out our data in here. So this table row here, all I want to do is just shift that up. There we go. And now you can see it's actually rendering through uh, all of our data. Now it's not, it's only displaying our uh, hard coded data in there, but it, it does display it a hundred times, which is the amount of uh, objects inside of our array. So what we want to do here in this, uh, in this little first name um, table data row here, we look at our data, we want to access that first name. So it's first underscore name. So that's what I'm going to put right here. I'm going to say item because we're uh, mapping through each, each object in the array and give it the name of item. And I'm going to say first underscore, whoop, underscore name. And now we should see our names being uh, passed through. So let's go ahead and do the same here. So I'm going to say item dot last name. And then for our email, it's going to be item dot email. And for our phone number as well, we'll do that. It's gonna say item.phone. So now you can see all of our dynamic data being passed through here. Um, we have about a hundred of them. And what we can't do is, is uh, search through them and filter them out. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's come up here to the top of our app.js file and we're gonna use some state. So let's go ahead and we can get rid of that console.log. 
And what I want to do is give this some state. And this is going to be the state is going to be for that search that we type in. So I'm going to call it search and then set search just like that. And I'm going to leave this equal to you state here. And it's going to be a just an empty string for now. So uh, what we want to do is actually uh, it's given us an error. So we just need to import our use state hook here at the top. If it didn't do it automatically. So now we have some state in here and what we want to do is on our input and this is our little bootstrap input um, element here. And what I'm going to give this is an on change. So on change and I'm going to take in an event and what this is going to be is just an arrow function. It's going to set search to event dot target dot value. And you can say event or you can just uh, I like to put just an E in there. I think it's a little bit cleaner and just looks a little bit nicer. So. Next, let's go ahead and what I want to do is console.log the um, search just like that. And if we see down in here, let's go ahead and update this. So uh, we're getting an error here and it's probably uh, it, React just needs a key here. So you could pass in an index here or we could also, since our data does have a unique ID, we can just come down here into our table row, give this a key and you can just say item ID and that'll give it a unique uh, key there. So that cleared up any of the errors. So let's go ahead and type in here. And as you can see, we have an empty string where we're console out logging our search. And as we type, you can see that we're starting to see uh, some, some text in here. So that's how we're going to like live filter through all of our, all of our data in here. So how do we do that? So we're going to use the filter method down here. And I just made a video on the filter method, but I wanted to kind of dive a little bit deeper and show you how we can incorporate this in this uh, contact list. So we're already mapping through it, but what I want to add is a filter. So I'm going to say filter just like that. Okay. And then in here, it's going to be kind of the same as our map uh, map function. What we're going to do is add in, uh, add in an arrow function, and then it's going to take in a value. And again, I'm just going to call this one name. Go. And inside, inside here, what we want to say is I'm going to give this a, uh, we want to do like an if, uh, if else statement, or we can just go ahead and uh, simplify things and make it a ternary operator that will just make it a little bit easier to read. So what I'm going to say is what I want to do is return and we want to convert all of our text in here to lowercase. Um, that way there's not any discrepancies if your contact is an uppercase or lowercase. So that's always a, a good idea to do that. So what we're going to say is search dot to lower. This needs to be capitalized to lowercase, and this is gonna convert everything to a lowercase. And if it's empty, if it's uh, equal to an empty string, which it is right now, if this is true, we just wanna return the item. Else, let's convert this to a lowercase. We want the item dot first name dot to lowercase, just like that. And then we wanna to check to see if it includes our search. And our search is whatever is typed in there at the time. So it's not necessarily the full name, but uh, you know, the, the whatever characters you have in, inside our search box. So now let's drop this down and we should be able to filter through our items here. So if we search for a name here, look, Henry, you can see it live filtering our search. So hope you liked your videos. This video, you guys uh, smash the like button if you feel like you got a little bit of value out of it. And um, I'm actually working on a project right, uh, right now, which is the to-do list app, but it's gonna be built in TypeScript and also with a Firebase backend. So pretty basic, but it's gonna go over some really uh, really important functionalities for Firebase and, and for TypeScript. So hope you liked the video, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.